Alright guys, good morning. How y'all doing? How's it going? So yeah, we're back home in the UK and uh, it's been a it's been a few days since um since the show and uh it's been a lot going on. And a lot of things has been happening since then, you know, we're trying to just obviously get back and get back to um get back to us and doing what we do. But it hasn't been it's been far from easy and uh it has definitely been a struggle and uh I've been absolutely ill since the show, you know. This is one of those things where when you're that low, low body fat, and you spend a lot of times in obviously expos and meeting people and everything else, things can tend to, your body's more vulnerable than what it usually is. But with that said, you know, it's one thing, you know, going to a show, you know, we pushed, we pushed. And like I said before, this went, I, I gave my absolute best for this one, you know. I've gone from show to show, uh, competing to competing, and I've given my heart out, and I gave my absolute best for this one. I mean, if some of you watch my story a few days ago, uh, a few weeks ago, I said, look, I don't know if I have anything left to give. I've given everything else. If I push any more, I think I'm going to wind up in hospital. And... uh we really, you know, dug deep for that, and we brought our best to the stage. We've never been that good before. We brought our best to the stage, and we battled, and oh, fuck me, we battled. And I absolutely loved every moment of it. I, It was one of the most epic moments I've ever had on stage, going head-to-head -head with a Mr. Olympian and battling out with him. And I felt nothing but pride and joy doing that, you know, and at the end of the day, the better man won. And I felt nothing but pride and I held my head up high and said, you know what, it was worth it. It was all awesome. And I, I conceded that, yeah, a better man won, you know, and I felt like, you know what, we gave everybody a show. We, we gave everybody our best and... After prejudging, you know, we were told how close it was. And we were told that we had to come better the next day. So I even dug deeper than I've ever dug before for the, for the finals. And, uh, we took a lot, uh, made a sacrifice that, you know what, I could say that right now, I might just regret a little bit. But, you know what, I came back better on a, on a Saturday and, you know what, we, we gave everything for it. And, you know what, the better man won and I, Concede to that, and I'm like, yeah. I shook his hand and I hugged him, and I said, "Bro, you're am absolutely amazing, and you're a warrior." And this, for me, is what bodybuilding is about: It's two warriors on stage, with every single one of us fighting to be to bring our best, to try to bring our best at that point. And at the end of the day, regardless of win, lose, or draw, if you know you've given your all, you shake the other man's hand and you say, "Well done." Now, that is one thing, to do that and feel that way and feel that respect for each other on stage and that respect for what the sport we've done on stage. But it's another thing to come off stage and then have nothing but disrespect, you know, given to you and your family for what? For sport? For this? To have my family disrespected, to have me disrespected so badly for not winning when I gave everything. Remember after the Olympia, I said, I came out and I said, we have to make this world better. We have to respect each other. We have to be more understanding of each other. And it feels like that completely fell on deaf ears. We sacrifice a lot to do this sport. We sacrifice a lot of our health and our body and our family's privacy and peace to do this. But to not, to come out and be disrespected so badly by people that have no right to do so and to humiliate us and my family because of the joys of what you felt is just and you felt is your opinion. It's nothing but utter disrespect and you should be ashamed of yourself for doing that. Now, with that said, it's not cool. It's not on. It's not cool. It's one thing doing the critique, 
oh man, he's, he came at his best, but he just just needs to be a little bit better. That's a critique. It's another thing to utterly destroy someone's hard work by saying such hateful things about them because of what exactly? A sport? Look, I told you, I don't come from the bodybuilding world. I don't come from this. I came from a normal job. Less than three years ago, half of you didn't even know who I was. I worked my way every ounce to get here. And to be humiliated because I'm doing my best is an insult to me and my family. And it hits hard when you're trying your all and you're being insulted like that. All Saturday I was happy. All Sunday I was happy. I was like, man, what a battle. What a what a weekend. And then I'm coming home to all this negativity and all this because what reason? Did we not do our best on that stage? Did we not bring our best? You, you're destroying our reputation and ourselves just to make yourself feel better. For what? This isn't, this isn't bodybuilding anymore. This isn't cool. And if you all don't can if you literally people can't see that, then why would I want to push to get on stage again? I mean, do you ever stop to ask yourself that? If we, I am third in the world and I'm second at the Arnold Classic. I'm an Arnold Classic champion. I'm getting disrespected for what? Bringing my best to the stage and not winning? And I'm being disrespected for it? Is that cool? Is that wrong? Is that right? But you know what? Fair enough. Maybe, you know, maybe I don't understand. Maybe I come from a different breed. I come from a different time. I come from a different life. So I don't understand how this works. And I put my hands up and say, I don't get it. I don't. But as of now, you know, this after I have to take myself to the hospital to get checked out because I don't know. My body is just... I'm trying to push through, I'm trying to train, I'm trying to get through it, but my body is just failing at this point. And honestly, I just don't know what else I could do. So given what is happens to me in the next few days, after we get checked out in the hospital, and um, what happens and the results of that, it will determine if I will be doing the Arnold Classic UK next week. And I have to wait and see how that result comes back and if I'll be able to proceed and carry on pushing my body to the limits that it is. So, you know, I am really hoping that's not the case. I'm really hoping I can somehow carry this on and keep fighting because that's all I've ever done all my life is keep fighting against all odds. But when my health is starting to fail, family and I are being dragged through the mud, I have to really stop and question why I'm doing this and why I'm putting them through this. But I really hope, by all my heart, I really hope that that's not the case. So guys, I'll carry on updating you on how this goes. And as soon as I know what we, what the plan is and what exactly I'm, I'm able to do and how serious this is, um, I'll let you guys know. But for now, we we keep we keep doing our best that's all we've ever ever done